So let's get into these short ribs, y'all. These Korean-inspired short ribs. But let's also get into how I made a side dish out of a 10-cent pack of noodles. Let's go. What's poppin' my YouTube family? And welcome back to another video. If you are new to the channel, thank you so much for tuning in. If you are already subscribed, I appreciate you so much. Today, guys, you guys voted for the Korean inspired beef short ribs. And that's what we go do, y'all. So let's get started. I'm going to hop right into it. So I got a few ingredients out here because the most important part of this dish to me is the marinade marinade equals the flavor okay and so i have my trusty little chopper here my i love this i love this chopper y'all so i'm just gonna start adding my ingredients so this is a chopped up um yellow onion i'm gonna put that in there pulsate it my little thing ain't but so big so i'm gonna pulsate them into sections like this Alright, so I'm going to start off with, I, pro, I don't, that's, a, I used a half a uh, yellow onion, y'all. So, um, also, I've seen, like, a lot of people <clears throat> using, um, like, an Asian pear. I guess that helps with the tenderizing factor of the um, short ribs. But I also did Google that you can also substitute the pear with an uh, apple, which I think also will give it a nice flavor, too. So, this is one apple. That then fell in the sesame oil. So that's one apple. That's going into. Okay. Let's give it a nice pulse. Okay. And that's what we looking like so far with our apples and our onions, y'all. So now that out the way you want to add in a few chunks of garlic just like that so I'm gonna add in one two I love garlic one two three four five six seven about eight cloves of that we have brown sugar we doing this my way y'all brown sugar we got some soy sauce right here use as much soy sauce as you like I think that was like maybe one fourth cup here goes some sesame oil right here. Add that on in. Stack, stack. Get that out the way. Put your lid on. Pulverize. Check it out. Looking like a hot mess. But it's going to taste good. Just the marinade. Okay, get that stuff off the sides. <clears throat> Liquify it a little bit more. Babe, you want to say hi to YouTube? They can't see you, babe. They got you. Got to say hi. <laughs> okay, y'all. That's what we looking like right here. So now I have some other ingredients over here to the side that I'm going to add because y'all know I got to add more. I got to add my own flair to this stuff. So we are going to go in with some poison. Love this stuff. Y'all know I don't do measurements. I eyeball it. So I'm going in with some poison. That's probably a tablespoon. Okay, we go go in with a little bit of five spice seasoning. Okay, we going in with some rice vinegar. Tablespoon right there. Nope, not peanut sauce. We 
want to go in with some of this oyster sauce. Booyah! That's about a tablespoon right there. Let's pulverize it. Put the little lid on. Okay. Let's see what we're talking about. Oh yeah. So if you want some heat to it, um, I guess it's a certain um, Korean uh, hot pepper that you could use. But use any pepper. Make this recipe your own. You don't always have to follow the exact rules for your stuff to come out tasting good. Relax. So let's give my little marinade a taste. Oh, wow. Y'all, the flavor, the garlic, the onion, the soy, amazing. That is good. That apple, the sweetness, the brown sugar, oh my goodness. So, this is what I'm talking about, y'all. This is what excites me. Make, take a recipe and make it your own. This is going to be good. I do, I want some more brown, um, more brown color. Look, I done got excited, y'all. So I'm about to add some more soy sauce. Because I just want some more. More of a brown color. Now, you guys, they also said to add um, green, uh, green onion. Scallion, basically. Um, I'm not adding my scallion in right now because I kind of want to garnish it. I kind of want to sprinkle my scallion on the top. Let me just pulverize this real quick, y'all, okay? Y'all, this is going to be bomb.com. Okay, so here's my marinade. You can add honey. Honey might give it a nice, a nice good flavor. So let's see here. I have my plastic bag, my little baggy baggy, and what I'm going to do is add in my short ribs. Let me show you guys that. Get that blade out of here, set that to the side, set that in the sink. So I have these beautiful short ribs that I already went ahead and washed and cleaned off. They're beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful short ribs. Beautiful. Beautiful, you guys. So, let me get the rest from over here. Make sure I don't drip no water. Okay, so, here's our beautiful short ribs, y'all. Nothing to it but to do it. Put them on in the bag. And if you're wondering where I got these from, I got them from Sam's Club, y'all. Love their meats. Sam's Club. Beautiful, beautiful fresh. So I'm just doing eight. Eight beef ribs, you guys, okay? So I have them in my bag. This is simple. This is like, this is so simple. Take your marinade. Dumping in a bag. Dumping in a bag. Okay. Close it up. And what you want to do is just give it a nice shaky shake. Not really too much of a shake because you don't want to make a mess, you guys. But you know what I mean. Make sure that marinade is all incorporated. Incorporated. Can't talk. All throughout your meat. So just do this. Massage it in. I'm just massaging it in. See? And what I'm going to do, you guys, is let this marinate. About 24 hours would be bomb. 24 hours would be ideal. But I promise you guys this video today. So I'm going to marinate this for three to four hours. Three to four hours, you guys. I'm going to put this in the fridge. Let it marinate. And then I'm going to show you guys the next step so let me finish giving this a nice massage y'all and i will be back 
was popping my YouTube fam so I am back like I said you want to marinate your short ribs you want to marinate your short ribs if you can't do them for 24 hours you guys at least three to four hours so now those are nice and marinated what I'm gonna do first cuz y'all I'm about to go a little hood gourmet on y'all real quick hold up so of course we need something to um, lay our beautiful uh, seared ribs on okay so I am going to saute these veggies right here that is your average orange yellow and red pepper nothing fancy we're going to get these nice and sauteed up I'm going to add simple salt and pepper to this okay we're about to go hood gourmet we're also going to add a little bit of stir fry oil okay get that going going a little bit of stir fry oil This. Let me get my other thing, y'all, so I don't scrape y'all ears off. Okay, so we're going to get these veggies nice and soft, you guys. And then we are going to make like a noodle stir fry. We are going to do a noodle stir fry, you guys. And I know everybody is familiar with these. I know you know what these is. If you don't know what these is, I don't know. We are using some top ramen noodles, you guys. Hood gourmet we are going to saute these veggies we are going to throw in some noodles we are going to season those noodles with our seasoning packet right here we are going to lay that on a plate and we are going to lay our beautiful ribs right over them it's going to be box listen what this smells so good already y'all so I'm just getting these nice and soft nice and soft real quick okay so now that I got these going I'm gonna put these over to the side step on over to the side step on over to the side love my griddle love it love my griddle it gets the job done so let's take out a few of our beautifully marinated short ribs beautiful beautiful Laying right on the grill. Laying right down on there. Okay. Okay. There we go. So let them go. Y'all, this is smelling so so good in here it's crazy it is smelling great I'm gonna add a little bit of the stir fry oil on my short ribs like that there we go let's check our veggies over here those veggies is looking nice looking nice It'll be bomb. See, those veggies is already getting a little bit of color on them, y'all. Listen, you don't have to be all fancy. See, you paid a million dollars for the meat. Take it low with the side dish. You already didn't pay a million dollars for the uh, short ribs. You know they're expensive. The pack that I got from Sam's was probably, I think, about, I paid $30 for them. For the, like, you know, the big mega pack, of course. But come on. Take it easy with the side dish. You can really make some good dishes out of this ramen, and I can show you how. Okay? I can show you how, baby. These are not going to take long at all, you guys. We're probably going to do these for maybe five, six minutes on each side. Done. They're so they're thin. You don't want to overcook them. They come out all tough. Move that up a little closer for y'all. Right there. Got our veggies going. We rocking and rolling. Uh, look how those veggies, y'all, is getting that um, nice color on them. Can y'all see? 
and I didn't um, chop up any onion to go in this trio because we marinated our uh, ribs with an onion and onion and garlic so you don't really need onion but do you you know what I'm saying if you want onion add some onion but I want these to get a little bit softer Yes, y'all, we are using ramen, top ramen. Get your life all the way together. Okay, I can show you how to do this, son. I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm going to show you how to do this. So these is almost time for these to flip. Like I said, you don't want to overcook them. And they smell, listen, oh my goodness, y'all, I just can't stop repeating myself. Because they smell so good. Uh, and then this stir fry oil right here is just packing flavor by itself. Bomb. Oh my goodness. And if you want some sesame seeds, go right ahead. Toss you on some sesame seeds. I really don't care for sesame seeds. That's why I don't, you know, I didn't incorporate any. But y'all, this is this is this is looking good. This is looking good, good. Let's take a peek at our ribs. Oh, I want a little bit more color on that. A little bit more color. Oh my god! They tender as heck already. Oh my goodness, y'all. These joints about to be full off the bone melt in your mouth tender deliciousness so listen this is what I'm about to do I'm gonna finish searing these off um flip these get some color on them or whatever I'm gonna finish uh searing off my veggies and then y'all I'm gonna bring y'all back for the final step stay tuned all right my beautiful YouTube fam look how gorgeous these ribs are so now, let's take them on off. Take them on off. Put them on our plate. Ah, sit those over there. Let's clean our grill. Scrape all that off. This is why I love this griddle. All that stuff. Put it right on down in the cup. Put it right on down in the cup. Boom. Now, let's get to working on our noodles, y'all. So, let's crack an egg. Make sure I got the right, okay. Let's crack an egg. Which I should have scrambled first. I'm wild. But that's okay. I want to get this nice and scrambled up. I'm going to add a little bit of salt and pepper. Oh yeah, just a little. Okay. Sorry about the scraping, y'all. Oops. Yeah, sorry for kicking the dog on. There we go. Okay. Sorry about the scraping. Okay, here you go. Now what you want to do. Alright, and if the egg is dark, y'all, that's just from your, um, of course, from your ribs, all that seasoning and stuff. So now let's get our new dales, our new dales. We're going to put our new dales right down. Put the new dales right down. Ooh. There we go. Get our dirty dishes out the way. Toss these. All right. Ramen. Okay, y'all. Ramen. Side dish. Get your life. Stir fry oil. My best friend today. Oil that up. Booyah, booyah. Soy, soy sauce. Soy sauce. Booyah, booyah. Tossing, 
tossing, tossing, tossing, tossing, tossing, tossing. Easy is one, two, three. Easy is one, two, three. Easy is one, two, three, y'all. Let's get those beautiful peppers that we seared off. Booyah! Yeah, there's yeah. And let's chop in a couple of pieces of scallion or green onion. Whatever you want to call it. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 bow. Let's toss in. Toss them up. Sorry about the scraping. See, I can look at my food and tell when it needs something else. Or when it needs a little bit of extra or something. So we definitely going in with some more soy sauce. Boom, 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 boom. And we are not going to go in with more salt. We are actually just going to go in with some black pepper by itself. Black pepper. Black pepper. Let's also go in with a little bit of granulated garlic. Boom, boom. Granulated garlic. Nothing fancy. Let's give it a toss. And then we're going to give it a taste. Yummy, yummy. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. Mm -mm -mm. I'm telling you. And this was so easy. This about to be so bomb. Boom. Spread it out. Spread it out. Bring it back in. There you go. Spread it out. Bring it back in. Come on now. I'm going to give it a taste. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, my God. Turn off your griddle. You don't want your noodles to overcook and get mushy. So I done turned off my griddle. Y'all. Bomb. I cannot make this stuff up. The flavor is ridiculous. The flavor on the ribs is ridiculous. Let's plate this bad boy up. Stay tuned. Okay, YouTube fam. Before I show y'all the plating, let me just show you guys this quick. Uh oh. Let me just show you guys this quick um, gravy that I'm going to make for the ribs. So right here I already have some um, butter melted right there. And I am going to add in a slurry that I made. This is just a slurry flour and water. Let me turn this fire down way low. We are also going to add in this bomb stuff, which is a sweet soy glaze. A sweet soy glaze. There we go. This stuff is very, very bomb and very, very, very flavorful, you guys. Let me turn the fire down even lower. We're going to add in some more water. Give it a stir. Add in some more water. Mm -hmm. Okay. Stir. Just like that. You want to stir it until it's nice and smooth. No flour lumps. Then we are going to let it simmer for about two to three minutes just to assure that flour taste is not in there. 
Okay, now our packet that came with our noodles, that seasoning, there you go. That's how we go incorporate it. Incorporate. Incorporate. I cannot get that word out today, y'all, to save my life. Incorporate. It's like, what is going on? Oh, here go my other packet. So, let's add a little bit more because you know this stuff is a little salty. So, we just go add a little bit more. Let's add a little bit more of that sweet glaze. Also, just a little bit. Okay. Nice stir. So, guys, what I'm going to do, this is just about it because no salt, no pepper. Your um, seasoning pack is going to flavor this up really well. But what I am going to add really quick. It's just a sprinkle, a little teaspoon of brown sugar. It's something about brown sugar and like Korean and Asian dishes that just floats my boat. So, you guys, let's let this go for about two minutes. And I'm going to come back and show y'all the plate and see. Nice little topping for those ribs. Booyah! Stay tuned. Okay, beautiful YouTube fam. Here is the finished result. Y'all, when I say I'm about to dive in, we about to crush over here. The ribs are so tender. Don't overcook them, y'all. I'm just telling you, all I need is five, six minutes tops on each side. The ribs is so tender and so flavorful. It's ridiculous. And this ramen... Let's get into these noodles. Let's get into how seasoned those noodles are. Get into it. Oh my God, I'm excited about this dish, y'all. As always, I thank you guys so much for tuning in. Everybody stay safe and stay blessed. See you in the next video, guys.